In this video, we will show you how to replace your front ABS sensor on this Honda Accord. This will be located inside of your front wheel well. Let's get into it. Make your way under the hood. Along your strut tower is where you're going to find where the ABS sensor connector comes through the body of the vehicle. You'll find that it has a small squeeze tab. Go ahead and squeeze that in to unlock it and then separate it. Once it's separated, give it a quick check for corrosion. A little squeeze. Slide that off. We're just looking for any funny colors. Both sides of this look fine. Safely raise and support the front of your vehicle so the wheels are off the ground. Once you've done that, continue on to removing all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts and then the wheel. With the wheel out of the way, we have a clear view of the ABS sensor wiring. That will lead up towards the upper control arm and then over towards where the strut tower is located. You can use a small pick. Looking at this plastic area, you'll find that you have two locking tabs. One's down along the bottom and one's just up above it. You wanna squeeze those tabs towards the center and then gently pry this out. Let's try to get under this one. You can either use a pick or even a screwdriver for this, whatever works best for you. With that out of the way, let's continue following that wire. You'll find that the ABS sensor bracket is held in place to the control arm with a 10 millimeter nut. Give that a quick inspection, we will be reusing it. Go ahead and take hold of that bracket, take it off of the control arm. Moving along, you'll find that you have a 10 millimeter headed bolt holding this bracket to the steering knuckle. Remove that as well. Follow the ABS wire to where it connects into the steering knuckle, down next to your axle. You'll find that you have a 10 millimeter bolt holding this in place. Let's remove that bolt. The next thing we'll do is continue removing the sensor from the steering knuckle. The sensor actually goes down and inside of the knuckle. It's common for it to be stuck in place. If it is, Use some penetrant, give it a couple taps back and forth, and then slide it out of place. Let's use a little bit right here. Once you feel as though you have some movement, you can try prying it up with a small prying device. Use a screwdriver or a small pry bar. Now it is common for the ABS sensor to be broken inside of the steering knuckle, like what we have here. If that's the case, you just want to go ahead and trim off those wires and we'll continue on with the drill bit. As we continue with the drill bit, you want to make sure that you don't go too deep and damage the axle. Started. After it's drilled out, go ahead and use some compressed air and make sure you remove any of the debris. Give it a quick inspection, make sure there's nothing left of the original ABS sensor in your knuckle. All right, let's get ready for the installation of our brand new ABS sensor and wire. Let's start at the top. We're going to take the connector and slide it right through the hole. Once it's in position, you wanna make sure that you align it properly. You'll find on the ABS sensor wire, it has this white area 
And on that white plastic, it has a small tab that protrudes outward a little bit, so it's not a perfect circle. Looking inside here, you can tell that it has a notch for that to align with. We'll just take it and put it in the proper position and slide it in. Listen for a click from both of those locks. Give it a light tug. We don't want to damage it, but you do want to make sure it's secured. Continue on to bringing it across the upper control arm. We'll just bring this right up. As you bring it up, you have the mounting hole and you'll also have an alignment tab at the far end here. In the control arm, you should have a small hole where that will fit into. Secure your ABS wire bracket to the steering knuckle. Slide that sensor right into the steering knuckle. Align the mounting bolt hole. Start it in by hand so you're sure you are not cross-threading it. Snug it up and then you can torque that to 7.2 foot-pounds. Reinstall your wheel. Start on all the lug nuts and then torque them to 80 foot-pounds. With the wheel on the ground, we'll torque these in a crisscross manner. Now it's time to reconnect that ABS sensor connector. Reach down inside here, squeeze it together. Listen for a click from that and give it a tug to make sure they are secured together. Okay friend, we showed you how to install the ABS sensor on your vehicle. The process for one side is the exact same thing as the other. Aside from that, go ahead and get inside the vehicle and start it up. Make sure you don't have an ABS light and then take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.